Uh, my name is Adam Keen. I am a rapper, a storyteller, um, a spoken word artist, and um, it's what I love to do. Um, I've been doing it since about third grade. Um, started taking it seriously my senior year of college before graduating, um, and that's basically what what I do. How did you get involved with the Crunk Movement this summer? Um, well, I had gone to a networking event that the Center of Life was hosting um, for my university, Duquesne University. And um, I met Pete, I met you, and I met um, Terry as well, um, the program director for this year's camp. And, um, you know, I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was a really cool kind of initiative that the Center of Life was doing. And then I think about maybe like a week or two later, yeah, about a week or two, I ran into um, Pete and um, he asked me if, or you asked me if I wanted a job this summer. And um, I wasn't sure exactly what that entailed, what that was about, but I was definitely interested. Um, and as soon as I found out that it had to do with hip hop and teaching kids, inspiring kids, um, educating, um, using hip hop, using rap, using the elements, um, I was just, I was hooked. Well, I think really what, what Summer Dreamers is about um, and what Krunk's participation in Summer Dreamers is about, I think is um, providing a space for kids to be encouraged um, and educated within their crafts. Um, and so we have a curriculum set up in which, um, one, it connects the different elements of hip hop, such as rap, DJ, break dancing, visual, to the different ways that students learn. Um, rap being verbal, DJ being oral, um, and so on and so forth. And so it really provides a space where kids can, can do what they love to do, have fun doing it, but at the same time um, also understand how they learn. So they can bring that after the summer camp is done, they go back to school, they can bring that into their classroom. So really, you know, A, we're trying to do that, um, you know, and B, we're giving them kind of an opportunity to, you know, help them to find themselves within their craft that they're doing. Um, you know, back in the day, the reason how, you know, the whole hip hop thing started was when kids, you know, were out in the streets and there was nothing to do, instead of getting in trouble, instead of, you know, robbing someone, they would break dance, they would rap, they would um, DJ. So these became outlets, forms of releasing their identities, um, who they are, who they are, and who they want to be. And so um, we're about giving them an opportunity um, to see that. Is the, is, the end of the, is the end of the summer show going to be awesome or what? No, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. We have some poets. Um, we have some fantastic um, creative talent in terms of rap. Um, and we just got some really powerful stories this year. I think that's that's the most important thing is, you know, we have some stories that are definitely going to be expressed um, through a positive way. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm excited to see what, what they're going to do, you know, because I'm learning from them as much as they're learning from me.